Right, to Kwanza Kumar Express TV, Rango Nako, right to send the deco BCU, a Tabet Kuru, a Chabari Mwani, movie to a Vievo Gisu, a Sangua, Munchevoga, a Chamber, a Chukunga, a Chitokunga, and Zalero, where Kubanti, Abavuka, Navakurem Bezavuka, Bakate, the Kuchitabechino, Gabe Karaka, Samudembe, Sakono Kwanga, about to see the press conference of all Kunga and Ravana Mauri. Gabasala wo okubanga teba wagira echite se chokubanti UCDA e sigala wo eleme kubanga teba jimajinga na chitongo le cha Ministry of Agriculture. Kakati onako uruwale ilu awavu kabagamba nti UCDA oba Uganda Coffee Development Authority e koze chinene nyo okubanga ate e yongira kumutindo gwe mwanyi sakono okubanga ate e wa avali mwebi koze sebwa so nebasaba government na haba kulembeze na dalaba MOP sakono mkulembeze we guanga okubanga teba tantala oba teba te kawombeira Ya kubanga ate baga te chitongole cha UCDA Mchitongole e cha agriculture Nga wechivade cha teke dua kubiru Erigenda maso flow of parliament Mugwanga edia Uganda So katubenga ate tukugata kubakule mbeze vano Sako na abavuka Abavu mchitongole chue vugisu Osoro kubanga ate ulabako chiche vogira voke njini protest against the coffee amendment bill 2024. And in the next 1-3-4 minutes, we are going to have a conference, a press conference, and a lot of issues is going to be aired out. So members, I will just want to tell you that as Bugisu youth and as Bugisu as a whole, we are not in line with the Coffee Amendment Bill 2024. Yes, yes. For so many reasons that are going to be added out. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 And I'm also a member of the National Youth Council. Yes. I also double as the sub regional chairperson of the Bugisu Progressive Youth Tapumia Circle. Yes. We are here to show our dissatisfaction to the controversial coffee beef of 2024, which has been discussed by Parliament, which is going to affect our farmers. And here for us here, as you see leaders, we are here to really express our dissatisfaction to this government that as younger generations, we are not going to accept. The coffee bill yes. we go through. We are even ready to petition the parliament yes. over yeah. this matter. Sure. Yeah. Because the coffee yes. has helped many lives in this yes. region. No. Sure. Yes. No. Hey, no. I'm, my name is Lukai Wilson. I'm a youth councillor on NRM Fragabea. I'm here to talk Bishop. the truth. NRM, we are here. Bishop. We are NRM candidates and we are here. These are the youth from Bugisab region. The amendment bill, coffee 2024, shouldn't take the process because we call upon his excellency to listen from the farmers it is key when you go historically in 1960 this was the same bill which was planned to be tabled in parliament but the farmers stood with their words and we we appreciate that time was in the, the, his excellency obote he called he called the what the bill so we call upon his excellency to listen to the farmers is surrounded by a member of parliament that is who can't stand the truth. Yes. Yes. A member of parliament, Jim Zoe. A Uganda's Jim Zoe. So we call upon the Bugisu sub region caucus yes. led by Honorable Rwanda. Yes. I call upon the farmers in the Bugisu sub region. The member of parliament in the Bugisu have not protected our pride as Masaba land. Yes. Who doesn't know that the coffee is our pride? Yes. A coffee is joy. Yes. A coffee is joy. Yes. So we call upon His Excellency yes. to listen on the issues, preferences of the farmers, and as the Bugisu, we have our most celebrated union, Bugisu, Bugisu Cooperative Union. We stand to protect and we say no to the beer, coffee beer amendment, and we say UCDS. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, before its introduction in, 2000, in, 19, 19, in 1961, we had uh, a patronage of, uh, of uh, less than 600, 600 kilograms per year. 
But as per now, when UCDA was introduced in Uganda, we are now having a patronage of over 4,000 per year, whereby a farmer is earning over 12 million. <coughs> so we are not satisfied with the, the coffee amendment bill. We are urging to government and MPs uh, to help and uh, shut down that amendment. Uh, I want to, to, to appreciate with all, with all the owners, our honorable member of parliament, honorable member Mahaye, she stood firm and he, he, he declined, she declined that proposal to parliament. I want to urge all the parliamentary, mem parliamentary uh, member of parliament for Bugisu to also uh, uh, extend the hand and the voice to, to in, in fact, to, to shut down that uh, amendment. Uh, that amendment bill. Thank you so much. I'm Frederick Nambafu. I'm the district council from Mugisu. Thank you. Uh, this one. Patience Hakasa from Manafa District. I am Hakasa from Manafa District, female employee, and I'm also treasurer of Mugisu Sako. I want to tell this to the Our Excellency that the, we are saying no monopoly to our coffee yeah. because. Yes. That coffee has raised many of us because we have even gone to school because of coffee. Our fathers have been uh, the masters of Bugisu Cooperative Union. They have been benefiting and they have been living in a good life. So please, that is not on the yeah. board. Yeah. Thank you no. very much. My name is James Wadada. I am uh, among those that have uh, been here long enough. I'm among the youth leaders from the National Resistance Movement. But whereas we, we, we embrace the whole idea about rationalization of government enterprises, but on this very one of having uh, the Uganda Coffee Development Authority mm. being put under a uh, Minister of Agriculture, we, we, we say no just because of heavy reserv reservations. One, we are saying uh, in any country, even if you moved from here up to America today, coffee as a commodity is under uh, an authority called the Foods and and drugs. And also putting that aside, is the Minister of Agriculture having enough uh, expertise? Are they, do they have the capacity to handle issues to do with the quality? Because when we're talking about anything that we're calling about something that we say is bringing a lot in our country, there must be regulation in the first place. Then there must also be mechanisms that are to do with the quality assurance and the quality control. And if you are to go to the ministry, we don't have such. And now we are saying Uganda Coffee Development Authority is the only one that can ensure quality. Right from, the, let's just look at the, all the, the value uh, chain, chain, the value addition chain. It has managed right from the nursery bed up the time when the coffee is taken. Now, what does this mean? If we are to kick out Uganda Coffee Development Authority, it means our coffee shall be of poor quality. At the end of the day, even when we are to say that we are going to, to participate and to, if we are to compete on international, on international market, we shall be nowhere. So we still need Uganda Coffee Development Authority to be independent. And if we are to do that, okay, if government has got such plans, we say let them give us like 10 years, let them first build capacity in the Ministry of Agriculture, then we can transition where we are going to have a benefit. It's not just a feeling that someone is just, just waking up and saying this should work mm. on this and that. We are not here to serve one person. Mm. Thank you very much. Yeah, my name is Matthew Asrevich Guy. I'm also representing the younger farmers from Ericon, but specifically to do that as a district. Uh, allow me to send this up to the government that UCD has done a lot. And uh, allow me to highlight some of the benefits the UCD has brought. Uh, in the coffee sector. One, the UCD has come up with a, a system. Uh, it's just on a website and it's called the window open system. And the window open system is helping us in the different ways. One, uh, we are able to obtain the uh, we are able to obtain the ex export license through the system. We are also able to also obtain the issues of quality. You know, farmers are in the line of export and in the line of export, the UCD has, has come up with that platform we call the open window system and the open window system one it is helping us in areas of export we no longer move to kampala in areas to obtain a certificate you can just get a certificate from the place where you're operating from still that system is also helping us in areas of also quality we are able to receive a team from ucd to come to where you're operating from through that thing so ucd is playing a lot two ucd has also helped in areas of machinery if you move around the Ergon and you move around yes. the cooperatives or farmers, most farmers have obtained the machine, the, the pulping machines. We are getting all these things from UCDA. 
We also getting uh, seedlings. UCD has come up. It has given seedlings for the last five years. And if we move around, all these initiatives have been brought by UCDA. Yes. UCDA is also offering trainings. We have extension workers around. We have a UCDA branch in Imbari. And all these people are helping us in areas of <laughs> capacity building. And our farmers are benefiting from this. So I call upon the government that please, let's not imagine the UCDA and the Ministry of Agriculture. Let's have UCDA. If we move around, we have countries like Ethiopia. We have countries like Brazil. We have a country, and Brazil is the leading coffee producing country in, in the whole of the world. Mm -hmm. We have Vietnam. All these countries are producing coffee. But when you do analysis and you check their history, they, are, they have independent bodies which are running the coffee sectors. So UCD has been in existence for the last 32 years. What has the government been waiting for? To just hear is at this moment that uh, let's imagine the UCDA into the Ministry of Agriculture. I'm one person who is saying that please let's have UCDA running its activities. UCDA has improved the quality. We are now drinking the best coffees. We are our coffee is in capping 18, 83, 83 and above. But this has been as the initiative of UCDA. We are having the best coffees around the world. Uganda is being praised because of the UCDA, the work it is doing. So with this. I say let's have UCDA still uh, handling the coffees of this yes. nation. Yes. With this, I request to submit. Hey, UCDA, hey, youth power. Coffee in our Masavaland is our pride. It has done us a lot of pride, and it has, it has actually not only that, but I want to give you the history that uh, coffee as an economic uh, aspect of it, made Uganda independent. They asked in the, in the, in the in England, I think. In England, yes. That uh, what is our strength as uh, far as the eco economy is concerned. And of Jisu, sorry, Kofi, especially of Jisu, contributed, contributed a lot. Pounds. 300 pounds. 300, it contributed 300,000 pounds. Uganda. So, Uganda also came. 500,000. And I think, I think it has also helped the, the ordinary person, the ordinary person, to improve his or her livelihood. It is, it is, it, it has been actually doing much better than other programs. And that's why Mujisu area of Mujisu zone is not among the, in the courts, poor, 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 poor areas. In, in most of us, we have iron sheet uh, buildings. By the way, that seems to take them apart. By the way, Sangal, Baba, never saw me. I tell you, by the way, I'm not sure I'm going to get a Mujisu, Gamasaba, Teso College, even Bukedi, Kachonga, and the and Masaba. They built Masaba. Ate, then I go and this town, this Mbale city, is actually known because of our coffee. That's our strength. That's our backbone. And for us, if you remove coffee, then you would have destroyed us as a as a, a tribe yes. pulled it together and established this union called the Bugis Cooperative Union. Bugis Cooperative Union was established in the year 1954, registered by the Minister of Cooperatives and Marketing. During that time the union operated for both coffee and cotton. But 10 years later, they separated, creating Masaba Cooperative Union to handle the cotton crop. That is lint, which later became part of the lint marketing board. But in a nutshell, younger men and women, you are blessed that before you, our elders, our elders of the union. And 
and it remains your duty. It remains your duty and no other's duty. Listen, it remains your cardinal duty to take over the union of Bugisu. Because we keep handing over as if we are in a relay race. You hand over to somebody to continue. What is your take on UCDA to My take on UCDA yes. is just the same as yours, which I have found here. Ours is an independent registered union, and the purpose of a society is for those people who are not able to survive alone or to, to survive as individuals. Because cooperatively, when you are asked why you cooperate, you say, I'm cooperating because I feel that alone I cannot manage. Alone I cannot manage. And therefore, when we are together, we shall always manage. So as we, we grow out and in, I want immediately on behalf of the chairman of the union, on behalf of the board of directors of Bugis Cooperative Union, on behalf of the management of Bugis Cooperative Union, and the elders here present, I want to strengthen you. We want to empower you. Yes. You must be empowered so that tomorrow you don't blame us when we have died that we didn't show you the way. Thank you very much. Luna uh, Salero, what's the unknown Fever Youth? A youth oi! A coffee oi! Bugis oi! Uh, I seven and come as an idol was Lucai Wilson in the youth in Mero Youth Council of Industrial State Division, Baliste. He says, Senate, I know Nahuessa Ruta Hobalu Musanifu, Nidite Haribu Huba Onga, Rerewa, Bakana Huri Ramu Hora, Ridimu Parliament, Lina, Buda Uganda. If Uwa Maha Ale Kutowere, before us, Mabon, the Bali Maswe, Abba Erudan. These are all Erudas about fighting Imwa and Yefenge, Abama Saba, Arabic Coffee. Simanza Manze Feba Masaba, Buga Gabwefe, Hobufanamunan, Mumwani, Imwani, Yahole, Bindu Bikari, Gamati Mustore, Uwa Menuma, Imwani in Dueda, which is celebrating a Ruba Baze Ivano, Yamimani, Sibara, and Bisayaba and Gabahalas, Independence, Uganda, Bachi Midira, Bara Yonga Bituera, Hubi Hubindu, Bituera, yes, by Midira, Dina, and Bunga Bambi, Sabanan, Ba British Shiba Zung. Sawa what you know, so what you know, the Tekari are the Mupari, I mean, take a Savakana Bali, maybe Nidi Nan, Nidi Kono, Yehuri Memwani, Nihuri Suvula Tawe, Huri Nik, Sitong, Goresha, Mayashabanga Sirueta, Basiranga Bari, UCDA, UCDA, Yamereka Batimani, Yabanga, Yunga Nikumuti, the Queen One, Queen Wani, Isabanavi, Gefeba Masav, Kubira Moon, the way of Elder Levefe, Balwani, BCU, BCU. Yet a mustongole, yet a yatanga, could say Mwani, Nemani, Irode, one is Tongole, Say you see DA, Hoba Kumutino Kumuna, Kumulai. So thank about you, Sibu Kis, Wekatan, Niba Eldad, Abadwan Nirabu Masab, Baran Nirabu Gaga, Wef, Nganye Mwan, Wetira to Erahurba, Soriba Sanyufu, Kurangia government, Niba MP, Febu Kis, Umua Mire Mavanga Simino, I open it. Mwabanga si mudife ninga imuwa nyeba masabu Ifenga ba youth bebu kisu Kwa adikile ya ringire lutalo Ni butalo Kuba emu peace Emu peace Emu peace Aba mire yo bata kubanga ba dife ninga imuwa Bapa papa elu dalebali anu Nge nibo balu anilire imuwa Nge mwana kebata Nge fei 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 kwa basi nga mupali ya menti Kubanga si mukani kati songa Tseba masaba Ni bugaga wabwe we mwanyi mwatanga mutsa mu bakubuka gabwe furisa yenyo yifuna sawa tino kwa urebere baba langire timiting tsenywe tsikhali tsenja uru nefenga youth be masaba urangire ya president his excellence yo rikakuta mu 7 awuliririze 
kama liloke vali mive nan be mwanyi i mwanyi si kwa mehu li tegeli ba khadira oti li tegeli ni li eliza mu plesi nenga si vayi rekeha rengeha kura o li tegeli ba venga wali majinga ni ministro ita ministro o rode ya khasi kana kuwe rea chimi ni mo chebu nan chebu ulimi Buli mibwe buli mibwe lire nyuma navi lwe kuba abantu bali ministry tsino se bakolofying ata batsa mutsi office tsini hukana if na bale re chibi chimirimo che buli mibwe lire wa as so kulangirira kuringe feba yanga generation kulukutsa kubanga ku filing a petition mwa uri ba masaba utso filing a petition inge bali mi ni liko no liye generation iri ndiri lebu wangwa bwe ba masaba we kumukama ni salero kuri simanza manza baze ibalwana na for protecting eliga se baze inga bakitutu bana ba 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 baze yi inga bakaji basina so isaba ba youth ku meni liko ne mbaona kuri sarisa okani kama zima kwa supporting NRM government ne ruwa kuamba ku mwanyi bale ba kusaba his excellence ekhenge mwiteka awuliriza tiso nga se ba limi na akhera kuba ni bakulembeze abamwe botogerere busa babanga sibari ya kumubola biri kulu mabanana bali e youth oi e bcu oi e kofi oi e government met z mwanyi na nabi na meru kai wulisa foundation that it was such a a, a, a day that when uh, the Bugis youth uh, stood together and said no to a, a, a law that was uh, meant to be passed uh, to their advantage, to their disadvantage. Uh, just like uh, the Ecold in the previous, uh, Uganda Coffee Development Association has been here long enough since the year 1991 up to date but all these years have been years uh, of remarkable successes if there are any failures those are failures that we thought would be handled internally it wouldn't warrant a transition uh, of a certain structure that is mandated to handle issues to do with equality to already uh, an, a structure that is struggling on a way how it operates. Uh, as, we sp as we speak, uh, Uganda Coffee Development Association, it has done much, authority rather, it has done much. Look at the coffee that we're talking about of Uganda today. We are speaking that uh, the coffee of Uganda is also competitive on the world market. And I don't think whether, if we do not have Uganda Coffee Development Association authority in place, where would do that competitive? I want to speak this. If you went to Minister of Agriculture today, I don't think whether there is a department that is fully mandated to handle issues to do with the quality control and the quality assurance. So uh, the only quality control and the quality assurance uh, structure that we have is only under UCDA. So we are saying, should we allow the UCDA to be merged into the Ministry of, uh, of Agriculture? One, we are going to lose, first of all, the expertise. The people that we have already in the, in the Ministry of Agriculture are already demotivated. Now, having these ones already well motivated to do the job, to putting them on their side, we are going to have people that are going to leave the job. If they are to be there, that means they are only going to be there for the sake that they are employees, but they will not do, be doing the much they are doing. So what does this mean? It means in just a few years, we are going to have the poor quality, because infiltrators are also just waiting. Because remember, this regulator had been blocking out a number of people who wanted to infiltrate into the coffee market just because they could not meet the requirements. Now that this one has been opened now, it goes now to the ministry, where you know whatever is happening, the bureaucracies and everything. So it means a coffee as a commodity is going to be affected a certain way, and whatever is going to be a loss is going to be on all of us, because this is going to be for Uganda. But why are we standing as a Bugiso today? We are saying this is the only commodity that we have. And we must protect it jealously. We should not even have, uh, allow anything to come in to, 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 dis to disappoint us in any way. If they are talking about today the UCDA being imagined, expect tomorrow. You may hear also the same scenario, the same narratives coming in of getting uh, the, the, the national... Uh, there is this one of, 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 of the drugs, the National Drug Authority, also saying, let us also merge it under the Ministry of Health. So why has this been spared? Because it's a sensitive issue. 
if they can spare the National Drug Authority, because it is securing our drugs for our safety, we're also saying the Uganda Coffee Development Authority should also spare because of the much that we're earning out of coffee. Finally, or in the conclusion, as Bugisu youth, together with the elders, we say no to the oh, coffee okay. bill, amendment bill, 2024. Thank you. Guarantee sustainable development of the coffee industry. The government should support cooperatives like BCU. And for the cooperatives to succeed, they require a technical regulator like UCDA. We, BCU Elders Forum, on behalf of coffee, uh, of Gisu coffee farmers, oppose the merging of UCDA with the Ministry of Agriculture. If it is the question of, of reducing costs by government, UCDA should be funded by, um, um, be funded by cooperatives and coffee dealers through paying cess uh, fees. But I understand this is what, what, what has uh, been happening, that uh, taxpayers do not pay uh, UCDA, but it gets its uh, funding from cess uh, tax. Originally it was supposed it was one percent, then they raised it to two percent, and uh, the problem was that when they raised it to two percent, the, 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 the UCDA got uh, much money, raised the taxes, and they also financed so big sums of money for UCDA, and uh, I think this is one of the major problems. Those how someone wants to control those funds. And I repeat that we, BCU Elders Forum, on behalf of Bujisu coffee farmers and the youth who are coming up farmers, we oppose the merging of UCDA with Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry, and fisheries. Thank you. Oh, coffee beer, Z! Z! Oh, coffee Z! Z! ABC, Z! Hey, UCDA, Z! We are, we call upon the farmers to say no to coffee. They have, uh, BCU has a, 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 an export license where we are allowed to export our coffee that, uh, basing on the prices that, the, that are set by the international standard. Now, when you say you are UCDA, which is mandated with the powers of checking quality and assurance, it means that we are going to downplay the quality of coffee as well as uh, play monopoly on coffee business whereby we have one person that could be having a license to export coffee and that person will have the prerogative to decide on the prices that they will be buying coffee from the farmers. And I'm sure in the future you will find that right, apparently we are selling coffee, we are, we are selling coffee to the union at, at, 10, at 12 Southern. Now, when you monopolize the coffee business and one person has the license to export, it means that he will, if he says he's buying your coffee at a, a price of 5000 there is no way you, you, you will refuse to, to sell. And this is now going to promote smuggling because long ago our grandparents used to grow coffee and they, they, in the 1960s, when the government, the, 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 the colonial government tried to monopolize coffee business, our grandparents started smuggling coffee to the neighboring countries, like Kenya, through Mount Elegon, because that's where actually much of the Arabica coffee is grown. So you will realize that the government is going to lose the small money it could have earned, or it is currently earning from coffee, when the farmers decided to smuggle coffee to Kenya, where there is good prices for their hard work. So we are urging government, one, let UCDA stay. Let UCDA continue to do the work it has been doing. We can, we can look at the small challenges it is facing and have them addressed so that we can have our farmers get the best because our parents 
struggle so much to to grow this coffee now if we make them start getting peanuts we are going to we are going to in, in the future you won't see people in Bugisu growing coffee so our humble appeal to government is that let government leave the business of coffee you can see what they have done to the oil oil business monopolies through Sinok where it's Sinok to procure petroleum products for the for the for the motor industry in Uganda that alone has put so many people out of business now this is the same thing that is going to happen to you to, to the business people in the coffee industry let us let us stand strong as the masaba who are growing coffee and we are calling upon our members of parliament especially those who have already shown that they are they are in support of this bill the members of parliament like Gerard Nangolo of Ergoni county hey. He has, uh, he has, he, he signed in support of the bill against the will of his people, especially in, in Elgoni County North. Me, that is where I come from. Many of the farmers there are coffee farmers, and their primary source of income is coffee. When you go to Parliament and say, my people in Burambura have said that let us merge the UCDA and have one person eh, own, own monopoly, or have monopoly on determining prices, then it's like betraying them. So I'm requesting him. Before this bill is, he has to make, 